Each of us has a dream, something in our lives or in ourselves we hope to achieve. An isolated cabin in Greenland may not seem a likely choice, but that is where Ramon de la Remendi has come to make his dream a reality. I'd always been fascinated by the isolation and challenge of the Arctic, but when I read about explorers and their expeditions, they all seemed to be in a hurry to get where they were going. I wanted to experience the Arctic differently, taking my time to learn about the people and the land. My dream was to spend two years traveling by dog team and kayak from Greenland to Alaska, living off the land the traditional Inuit way. It was the ultimate challenge for an adventurer like myself, but not one I wanted to face alone. Ramon's dream was complicated by the fact that he lived more than 4,000 kilometers from the Arctic, in Madrid, Spain. An unlikely place, even at the best of times, to find Arctic explorers. In the end, he didn't have to. They found him. Twenty-seven-year-old Manola Olivera heard about the idea from a friend. He was an expert kayaker and climber and had often dreamed of this kind of challenge. He had kayaked with Ramon before and liked his drive and determination. Ramon admired Manolo's calm, steady approach to problems. He was a good choice, but unfortunately, Manolo had his engineering degree to finish first. Antonio Martinez, a 29-year-old caver and mountain climber, heard about the expedition through his alpine club. He liked the risk involved and the certainty of adventure. It was a far cry from his life as a businessman. But he too had commitments to finish before he could think of traveling. The youngest member of the group, and the one with the least experience, was Rafael Peche, a 22-year-old photography student. Rafa was looking for an escape from the street life of Madrid. Ramon knew it was a risk, but there was something about Rafa he trusted. The expedition needed a cameraman, Rafa had the ability, and unlike the others, he was free to travel anytime. I was the only one of the group with any Arctic experience, and that was limited to skiing trips in Greenland and Iceland. We decided that Rafa and I would leave first and start dog training in Greenland. Manolo and Antonio would come when they were free. My dream was about to become a reality.